my Mexican kitchen here in Switzerland. This time it's the Mex Mundo kitchen. And you might be wondering, why is she in another channel? Well, here's the reason. The Mex Mundo uh, channel we have that we shared before um, was a bilingual channel. I was sharing recipes in Spanish and in English, the same recipe. So if I shared a bread, it would be made in Spanish and it would be made in English. But that was being really confusing for our viewers. Sometimes I would share a video and then they would tell me, oh, it's in Spanish, I wanna see it in English. And the video was right next to it. And I, I don't know why, but somehow it was creating a lot of confusion and I, I thought it was a bit uh, not practical. So I thought it would be easier to open a second channel and this one is gonna be exclusively in English and the other one is gonna be exclusively in Spanish. Like that, you guys don't have such a hard time with all the mix up of the two languages. So I hope it's easier for everyone. And um, of course, I want you guys to help me with your subscriptions because it makes me happy. So you wanna make me happy, right? <laughs> so if you guys like the recipes, just please subscribe, share, activate the bell, tell your friends about it, bring them over, make them some yummy Mexican dishes or whatever it is I'm showing you guys to make. And well, now for the recipe of the week. It's called Garibaldi's and it's a type of, um, let's call it a cupcake, but with a different shape. It's made in a cupcake tin and there are some very yummy little cakes which are made in Mexico. A uh, bakery called El Globo, which means the balloon, uh, started making them and they are so nice. They're so simple to make. You can make them anywhere you're watching me because flour, baking powder, these types of ingredients are available in every country. So there's no excuses not to pamper yourself and to enjoy some yummy, delicious sweetbreads. So let's start baking. Uh, the ingredients you need to prepare your garibaldis are 125 grams of butter, the equivalent is half a cup. 125 grams of white sugar, the equivalent is half a cup. Three eggs. 125 milliliters of milk, the equivalent is half a cup. 225 grams of all-purpose flour, the equivalent is two cups. 25 grams of cornstarch, the equivalent is a quarter of a cup. Seven grams of baking powder, the equivalent is two teaspoons. A quarter of a cup of cooking oil, the equivalent is 60 milliliters, and the one I use is peanut oil. You can use any one you like. About a quarter of a cup of apricot jam, white sprinkles, and if you can't find white ones, just use whatever color you like and find. And also one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so before we start, you guys should preheat your oven at 170 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how quick and easy this is, yay! <laughs> and well, to get started, uh, in your mixer, you're going to put your butter and your sugar and you're going to cream it up. You have to whisk until the sugar is as dissolved as you possibly can get it. To, to dissolve in there. Um, you can use your globe attachment for that. And um, you continue mixing and you're going to add your milk, your oil, your vanilla extract, and your eggs. Uh, always be sure to crack your eggs one by one just to make sure that they're in good condition. You can put them all in at once, but just when you're cracking them in the bowl, do one by one just to make sure that they are um, not in a bad shape that it may ruin your recipe. And also the ingredients you use, like the butter, the milk, and the eggs should be room temperature. That's very important. So before you uh, start baking, just take them out, leave them on your counter for a couple of hours. And as soon as you feel the butter is soft, you're ready to start baking. Uh, once we're done adding our wet ingredients, so we stopped at the eggs, we're going to add our dry ingredients. So we have to sift them first. You're going to sift your flour, your cornstarch, and your baking powder and you're going to add it into the, to the wet mixture and you're going to mix until it's like barely integrated. As soon as you see that the flour has mixed in there, you turn off your mixer and then we'll go on with the next part. Okay, so uh, to bake our little Garibaldi breads, we're going to need cupcake molds. I'm going to be using this one, which is with a silicon um, individual mold, but you can use the big sheets, which aren't uh, made out of this material. What you're going to do is you're going to grease your mold and you can also flour it. In my case, I'm just going to grease it because these molds are really, it's really hard for stuff to stick on them. Uh, once they're greased, you're going to add your, um, your mix in there and you're going to fill it up about three quarters of the capacity. Don't fill it up more than three quarters because uh, the breads grow. Each cupcake is going to grow. So you 
want to fill it up maximum of three quarters of the capacity. I'm going to be using a ladle, but you can also use a pastry bag to fill it in if you want to be like more and more precise. Uh, once they're full, you're going to bake them between 15 and 18 minutes. It depends on everyone's oven. But what you do is passing the 15 minutes, you just insert a toothpick in the center of, each, uh, of one of the cakes, not of each one, just in one of the little cupcakes. If it comes out dry, it means you're, you're done baking. But if it comes out wet, then you still have to leave it in there for a couple of minutes more. After it's done baking, you're going to take it out of the oven and you're gonna let it rest on your counter for about 10 minutes. And then you're going to take them out of the, the cupcake mold or tin, whatever you're using. Don't take it out as soon as you took it out. Um, don't take them out of the mold as soon as you take it out of the oven because they're just gonna crumble apart. You really need to let it cool down. Okay, so now comes another easy uh, part of the recipe. While our little cakes are baking, we are going to put our apricot jam in a little saucepan and we're going to heat it up. We want it to turn liquid. Uh, jam in its state inside a jar is very thick. So if you heat it up, it gets very liquidy and that's what we want. Uh, what we're going to do with this jam is you're, you're gonna brush it on every little cupcake. So you want it to be very liquidy. Um, I, I suggest about a quarter of a cup. I'd rather um, make less than more because the thing is, if you heat up too much, while you're brushing it on each bread, you get breadcrumbs in your jam, and maybe you don't want to eat that much jam that's left over, and you end up having to throw it away. So it's better to heat up less than more, but about a quarter of a cup is more than enough because you're just gonna brush it on each little cupcake. Okay, so our muffins are done, or, or cupcakes, or whatever you wanna call them, our little cakes are done cooling down. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut off the top, the little belly. We want it to be fully flat, so with the help of a knife, just cut off all the tops so that it's nice and flat. Once you've done that, you can put the tops in a bowl and you can snack on them or not. I mean, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. It's up to you guys. But once we're done with that, we're going to brush on the jam on all of our little breads, except the bottom part, which we cut off. And uh, we're going to then put lots of sprinkles all over. We're going to fully cover them in sprinkles. Like I mentioned uh, before, the most, oops, this one's a bit empty. Let's grab a full one. The most typical ones are the white sprinkles, but you can also use colorful ones. I've also seen them like that. Or you can just pick whatever color you want. I mean, they all taste the same in the end. You have to like how it looks. Um, but that's basically it. Okay, so we're done making our Garibaldis. That's so you guys remember the name. These are the colorful ones. And over here are the white ones. As you can see, they look pretty in whichever presentation, whichever colors you choose to make them in. And over here is my snack, all the tummies I cut off, the tops from the, <laughs> from the Garibaldis. Uh, this recipe is easily made under 30 minutes. It's really fast. You guys are gonna have a super yummy dessert, a pan dulce to enjoy with your coffee or a, I mean, you don't need an excuse, just make them, they are really good. And like I mentioned before, don't forget to subscribe to our new channel to recommend it to friends. This one's going to be fully in English, so there's no confusion with videos in Spanish in this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.